guys, it's Liz. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking all about hourglass powders. I was getting ready to go run some errands and I was in the middle of doing my makeup and just as I applied my foundation, I was about to grab my hourglass powders and I decided why not film and show you guys how I've been using these powders um, because I absolutely love them. They are part of my holy grail. I cannot live without them. I don't know how I ever lived without them. So I have a total of three different powders. Well, actually I have a palette and the palette contains three powders and then I have two full size ones that I went out and purchased after trying this palette. This is the palette that was limited edition last year but Hourglass has recently released it as part of their permanent collection and this one, um, I'm going to check my phone to make sure I have the prices right. Um, this one retails for $58 and you get three different powders and each single powder retails for $45. It's definitely a great value if you have never tried their powders and you just want to give them a try to see if you like them because you do get a total of three. And in the palette you get um, this one over here is dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. Um, dim light has to be my favorite out of their entire collection and this one is the one that um, blurs imperfections. I love using this one as a setting powder because it is very close to my skin tone so it just blends really nicely into my skin. This incandescent light is limited to this palette and it is more of a highlighter and as you guys can tell it is my least used powder. I just have so many other highlighters that I prefer over this one. Radiant Light is more of a warm color. Um, I love using that as a foundation to my bronzer. All of these powders together just blend so nicely to give you this um, just gorgeous finish and really adds a lots of dimension to your face without having to look like you're wearing too much makeup. The next one is Mood Light. This one I went out and purchased the full size because I swatched it in the store and I just love the way that it looked. And I like to use this one um, in my cheek area because it just gives you this gorgeous dimensional um, glow whenever you turn your face you can just see it and it has a slight pink undertone and this one is also gorgeous all over your skin they say that pink light is the most flattering light to be under for everybody I personally have never been in a room that has pink light so I don't know but this is what this one is supposed to mimic and it's absolutely gorgeous. I've used it all over my skin as a setting powder, but currently I've just been enjoying it using in my cheek area. The next one is probably my second favorite, um, second to dim light, and it is diffuse light. And it is this one right here. It is the one with the yellow um, hue to it. And I love using this one underneath my eye, um, just in all the places that I want to really brighten my skin because I can't say enough good thing about these hourglass powders. They're just absolutely gorgeous. The finish is just amazing. Okay, so I already have my foundation on, which I'm currently using the Bobbi Brown uh, foundation stick in the color Natural Tan. And this is all I have on my skin. I haven't applied concealer or anything. And I'll do a more in-depth review on this foundation if you guys are interested. So the first thing I like to do after I apply my foundation is I take my Physician's Formula Nude Wear Touch of Glow Stick. I go ahead and apply that to... Um, underneath my eye area and I like to do this just to um, slightly brighten my eye area and this is really natural looking which is why I don't mind using it in the daytime and you can just blend that in with your finger it's not a big deal I actually find that it looks a little more natural when you do it with your fingers than with a sponge but a sponge works just fine and of course you guys know that I love the beauty blend. And then what I like to do to set this area, I like to use diffuse light, which is the yellow colored um, ambient lighting powder. And I just take a brush, and I am currently using the Tom Ford Cheek brush, which I recently purchased on my last trip to Vegas. If you guys watched that video, you have already seen this. So I go ahead and just dip it in the powder, and then just tap it, and I press it in my under eye area and you want to press it because you don't want to remove all that product that you just applied so you just want to press it and it's going to look a little weird at first it's going to look like um, you have a bunch of powder just sitting there and that's fine just leave it alone and move on to the next eye and just do the same thing just press it in and then I also do it on the bridge of my nose and just all the places where I normally apply highlight 
And you can even put it in this little area too if you want, just to add a little bit of balance to your skin. And just leave it alone, uh, move on to the next part of your face. Then I like to take the color Dim Light from the Hourglass palette, which is this one right here. And I find that Dim Light is very close to my skin tone, so I can use it all over my face. If you have a lighter complexion than I do, I would suggest using it in your cheekbone area and just like right underneath your cheekbone. But if your complexion is similar to mine, then definitely use it all over your skin. And it'll just give you the most gorgeous um, finishing look. It looks almost like it blurs all your imperfections. And it's because of the light deflecting properties that it has. It just gives you a very gorgeous finish. So I like to take just a big fluffy brush. So just take the color Dim Light and just roll your brush and tap it and then just apply it. Um, don't apply it over the um, the last ambient lighting powder, powder that you just applied. Apply it right underneath and just bring it down into your neck. And I love this powder as a finishing powder because since I have dry skin, I can't I don't want to walk around with my foundation um, looking shiny, but I, I want to set it. But I also don't want a finishing powder that's going to um, emphasize all of those dry spots in my skin. So this doesn't do that. It just blends so beautifully and gives you the most flawless finish. I don't know why, but I feel like when you're applying it and you look at yourself, you don't really see a difference. You just see like the color payoff. But if you give it a minute and then look at yourself, you'll notice um, that all your little, like if you have little pores, uh, not little, but if you have um, larger pores or if you have like little dry spots, it just like, I don't know, it just blurs it all out and it just gives you the most gorgeous finish. So after I take Dim Light, um, with the same brush, it's not a big deal, um, take the color, I like to take the color Radiant Light, which is um, the bronzy color on this side. And I like to apply that to um, the places where I would apply my bronzer. And you guys will see um, how it just brings a lot of warmth into my skin. So I just apply it there and bring it up into my temple. So you guys can already see how it's just warming up my skin. And you can even bring some down into your neck area. And then do the same to the other side. So you guys can see it's already starting to warm up my skin. And I'm looking at the viewfinder because that is my mirror right now. Just do that. You can already start to see a little bit of dimension into my skin. And it's not harsh, it's very natural looking and it, it's just gorgeous. If you guys haven't tried these powders, highly suggest you go out and try them. The last color that I like to use is called Mood Light and this is the one with the pink undertones. And I love to use this as, um, as a base for my blush. And I'm just taking my Real Techniques brush, I think this is the blush brush and I just swirl it in the powder and then apply it in the places where I'm gonna apply my blush. So just on my cheek area. So as you can see, it's already adding like this gorgeous glow to it and it is just absolutely stunning. And it's not really like a blush in and of itself, but it just creates like this gorgeous foundation for your blush. So you can see, you can see the, um, the slight pink tone glow to it. It's just gorgeous. So now when you apply your bronzer and your blush, you already have some dimension and you don't have to apply too much of it. And it just blends into your skin and just gives you like the smoothest transition. It just looks so natural. So those are all the powders that I use now. I'm just going to go ahead. I could actually just leave it like this to be honest and I am ready to go for a all natural look. But I like to go ahead and add my bronzer and my blush. For my bronzer today, I'm just going to use my Bonjour Soleil palette. And I'm just going to use the Chocolate Soleil bronzer right here. And then on the top. Okay, so for blush, I am going to use the Mood Exposure Blush, which I have been absolutely using nonstop recently. And it is just a plummy, gorgeous color. And I'm going to take the same uh, Real Technique blush. Last 
step is just take a big, clean, fluffy brush and just dust off any excess. You guys remembered we applied diffuse light underneath the eyes and we just patted it on, so now it's just time to shake all that excess powder off. So just grab a big, fluffy, clean brush and just... And there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Um, my top two picks from the Hourglass collection are number one, Dim Light, and number two, Diffuse Light. I think if you are looking to invest in any of these powders, those are the, the ones that you should definitely gravitate. That is all I have for this video today. I hope you guys find it helpful and I will talk to you on my next video. Mwah. Bye.